Well, I felt that running the 4,000 miles is not really for yourself. It's more for the people who can't do it because there's a bunch of people who are affected by cancer and any other diseases that would love to be doing, like running or doing any sort of exercise or even walking, and they can't. So I felt like I could do it for them in a way. I'm Allison Garris. I graduate in 2021. I'm a healthcare management major, and I run cross country and play lacrosse. I liked to have that it was close to my home. grandma. Graduated from here, and then several of my cousins. Also. I've always been like interested in like the health field, and I wanted to do something without having to like be the one treating patients. So it's a way to give back to them without having their doctor. So I decided to get involved for with fundraising for the Almond Cancer Fund. I actually found it on Facebook one day. It just came up as an ad. I decided to look into it because I felt it was a good way to give back to the cancer community without having to be in the hospitals. I always wanted to give back to people. I just always felt like I was able to, that I should. The trip all together was 49 days. Uh, we started in San Francisco and ended in Baltimore. And we had 10 rest days in there, which five of them were also service days. And we would run eight to 16 miles a day, but not all at we once. Like break it up into legs where we'd either do two, three or four mile legs. And you're always running with a partner. And it was like leapfrogging across America, basically. Mostly we stayed on church floors. We all had like sleeping mats and sleeping bags. We got the occasional bed. We stayed at the University of Illinois at School in Pittsburgh. When we were in Columbus, Ohio, that's where the founder was, Doug Allman. He stayed at his house and then two other people in their house for us too. So we got beds a couple nights, but mostly it was on church floors. We got up earlier at around like 4.35ish. We would do um, our dedication circle, which we would first like write the names on the back of our legs as to who we were dedicating our miles to that day. My great uncle, he passed away last August from bone cancer. My uncle also passed away from cancer last year. We like didn't realize the impact we had until we went into the hospitals and everyone was just like, thank you, you're doing such an amazing thing. And we were just like, we're just running. Like we didn't think it was as great as it was when we were doing it. But now afterwards, I realized like how much of an impact we had. I still don't even know how to explain the experience. It was just so life changing that I like, I loved it so much that I want to do it again. Like, I would willingly sign up and do it again. And I just want like other people to experience it especially if you've been through the cancer community and like have seen firsthand how it affects people it really does show that you can make a difference you don't have to be a doctor to make a difference you can easily make a difference for yourself